Good morning to all of you. <coughs> Telugu people, particularly youngsters, you might have seen the film Bharat Ane Denu, in which Mr. Prakash Raj calls the CM to his residence for a party and explains him that even though the politicians in power and opposition party they <coughs> accuse each other but inside they have to they will do favor to each other so that is the art of the day but it will not be accepted by the court same thing happened in karnataka issue on 5 for 5 1 2021 that is yesterday the karnataka high court single judge bench michael kunha justice michael kunha he refused to pass the fir registered in december 2005 against sorry 2015 against the present chief minister of karnataka state shri b s edurappa right so and also it imposed a fine of rupees 25000 for unnecessary litigation for filing a petition to quash the fir under section 482 crpc what has gone wrong what is the issue if you know the details then it will be better for you to appreciate this is all regarding a land it not small a land to an extent of 1.11 acres 1 acre 11 cents in the outskirts of bangalore in a place called as matada halli matada halli not martali it is matada halli near rt nagar in bangalore the land originally belonged to one timappa he is a, sorry timmaredi nagappa the land originally belongs to timmaredi nagappa right it was acquired it was acquired in 1976 77 for laying house plot that is for housing scheme you may be known land acquisition the government has got every power for alienation of land for acquisition of land you have to complain only for the so called uh, compensation that's all you can't say that the government cannot uh, take away the land right so anyway Uh, it was uh, happened he has fought for it but he could not get enough compensation what is there but anyway the finality almost uh, now it has come to a final stage uh, where the acquisition proceedings are over and uh, the disbursement is also about to commence this is year 2017 right but during the year 2017 7 sorry 2007 one rajashekhar Rajeshwaraya, Rajeshwaraya. He filed a petition before the government, stating that he got a decree over the same. Therefore, this has to be denotified. Previously, the government has notified that uh, it is taking it for house rent, house uh, housing scheme to the poor or needy people. But still, the Rajeshwaraya approached the government. Uh, stating that already the court has given a decree for the same land therefore you have to re-notify and you have to give the same to me the land the matter is subject the matter was pending in the court therefore actually mr kumar swami hd kumar swami he tried to denotify the land he called for the file but of course it was somehow he was not successful but after edurappa came into power then uh, edurappa he has uh, actually has denotified the land he denotified the land into the parcels of land not only this he has done uh, two or three such incidents right so therefore one uh, jay kumar hiremat a public spirited person he filed a case against uh, the present cm under section 13 of the prevention of corrupt act 1988 you may be knowing in karnataka the lokayukta can take up such corruption of cases against the ministers mpl mlas and mps very powerful when mr ramakrishna hegde was the lokayukta chairman actually has done wonders 
Likewise, these people, they have uh, conducted the primary inquiry, came to know that uh, some uh, uh, mafia, uh, something is background, therefore they wanted to investigate the matter. They registered a case under Section 13 of the Prevention of Corruption Act. Now, Mr. B.S. Edurapa, he has filed a, a cash petition, cash petition before the court uh, under Section 482 CR, that the case was unnecessarily filed against him like that. Actually, he has filed in the year 2018, I believe. But whatever it is, the transactions, now you have to be careful to hear me. A Europe sir has been notified. Fine. Within 20 days, this land was transferred to one, uh, you know, you could not be done. But the land was transferred to Mr. And Mrs. Vimala. Mrs. Vimala. We, she, she is the mother-in-law of H.D. Kumar Swami. And within the 10 days, the land was transferred in the name of Mr. Chennappa, who is her son. That means brother-in-law of Kumar Swami. Now you can understand to in whose favor this was done. Right? It is very easy to guess. I don't want to tell all these things. So definitely, the judge, will he keep quiet? The High Court judge, he has perused the entire file. And uh, yes, even he chided the Lokayakta police also. Hey, what are you doing? You have registered the case in the year 2015. Five years over, you could not arrest him or you could not do, you could not finalize the case, first of all. You could not finalize it. Please finalize the case. So, if you have finalized the case, he should not have come for cash. Right? So, he, they has, in that way, he has pulled up the Lokayakta police also. But anyway, since there is enough material to proceed against her, Mr. B. D. Uh, Mr. Edurapa, who is A2 in the FIR, the court did not give permission or the court did not crash the FIR under section 482 CRPC. Simultaneously, the court has also held or the court has found Mr. Edurapa liable for, uh, for actually for uh, unnecessarily uh, complicating the issue and uh, it has imposed a fine of rupees 25,000 to him for filing a false complaint or for a vexatious petition under section 482 CRPC. So this is definitely a trouble. The Mr. B.S. Edurapa, he was caught in the cold drum, conundrum, or it is a fresh trouble to Mr. Edurapa because the High Court dismissed his petition seeking the so-called bashing of the FIR and the 482 CRPC and that to holding that it is an illegal denotification. Of course, the result of the case may be different, but as, uh, as it is concerned, you see how the politicians are circumventing the law and circumventing the procedure and take it to their advantage. This is what I want to tell. So, the film, the, the show in Bharat and in Enu, that scene is 100% proved to be correct. Opposition and the party in power, they will collude behind back. This is an example, set a, this is set an example. Please, uh, uh, if you find time, please read the news uh, and enrich your legal knowledge. Thank you.